Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Harncook, Ion Tyres, specially designed for electric vehicles, PowerShop, for day or night EV charging plans, and CarLoop, data to empower Australia's EV revolution. Hey everyone, I'm Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you so much for joining us today. Next to me is my 10-year-old Tesla Model S 70D all-wheel drive, which I purchased secondhand in 2016. It is a 10-year-old vehicle, 121,000 kilometers on the clock. We will do a battery degradation test as well. It's still on the original NMC battery from birth, uh, and it's still going strong, which we'll uh, document for you very shortly. But let's take a look around the car to start with. And this is the original Tesla Model S pre-facelift, pre pretty much everything. Uh, it was zero to 100 in 5.4 seconds at production. And originally 70 kilowatt hour battery, of course, uh, with about 350 kilometers of WLTP range. So we'll see what the battery is like and the range is like a bit later on. Original nose cone there from the front, you can see. These are the Huncook tires that Huncook generously uh, put on my car. They've got a 70,000 kilometer warranty, the Ion tires. Let's do a little check and see how they're going. It is about 8,000 kilometers old, these tires. So let's have a look. We stick them on there. It does say good for now. The tread is still good. And that's, I can tell you, that's the same throughout all four tires. We did the test uh, earlier for all of them. So still looking good. Rims are still good. Tread is still good. Tires still good. Huncook Ion EVOAS. Great tires. Specialist tires, specialist EV tires. Absolutely. Yep. That's Joy talking. Thank you, Joy. Yep. Special comments. Yep. Sound absorbers. Because you know electric cars are silent. Yeah. So yes, you know, I do love a sedan or a wagon. This kind of shape is fantastic. Very aerodynamic, of course. Um, yeah, still very much lean towards this kind of vehicle rather than SUV. And it shows, it's still got this car after 10 years. Um, I should point out this store handle. So this is a known issue with Tesla Model S, the original Teslas, where the, the, after a while, the, the motor inside the, uh, the handle starts to fail. I've replaced all of them except for this one. So this one needs replacing, which Tesla will do for me. Uh, it's out of warranty, this car, so it is at cost. Let's walk around this way. So the charge port is here, the original charge port. Um, let's see if I can open it from the screen. There we go. So that is how uh, it opened. I think actually it may not have been automatic open or at least push open. It has to be done from the screen or pushing the charger. I think you can actually hold the button too. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've driven this car because it now lives uh, with a family member. But yeah, it's a specialized uh, type two port which allows a, uh, a Tesla supercharger with those older style plugs to, to plug. Otherwise you need a CCS2 adapter. And that is legacy for you. Walk around this way. These are fake plates, don't worry. I've got real plates under there. Model S 70D, they don't make Model S for Australia anymore. So this is a unique item. Um, and let's just uh, open the lift back or lift gate. And that's why I love this car, it's got the lift gate. As opposed to some sedans, which just have a, an opening. Parcel shelf. Oh, sound brings me back. Mm -hmm. And it's a huge, huge, huge boot. Huge. Boot space, yep. Let's do another random check of this tire here, back left. Yep, still in the grey, still good for now. It's good. It's good. Hunk hooks, 8,000 k's in. Nice. Yeah, still good. Still good. Doesn't have... This has got um, autopilot hardware one, so it is very old. It's never going to have full self-driving, supervised or otherwise, all right? So don't worry about that. It's got highway autopilot, though, so you can use that on the highway with active cruise control and lane change, I believe, as well. So there you go. Bit of a walk around of the original Tesla Model S. Still looks fantastic. Still drives well, we'll go for a quick drive later on. And this is pretty much what started the whole ludicrous feed movement, the whole channel, the whole social media thing. So yeah, this is something I won't be selling anytime soon. This is a collector's item for me. Might as well show you the front real quick. And this was incredible novelty back in the day. Sure was. That you pop the front and there's just massive space, storage yeah. space. There's What's that, that all about? There's that Type 2 to uh, CCS2 adapter. So Type 2, 
mm. and CCS 200. Yep. So if you rock up to the supercharger, you stick the supercharger bit yeah. into that bit and then that bit into the car. Or any modern charger for that matter. Yes. Yeah, modern DC charger. True. You're right. Um, this front is massive, by the way. It's yep. huge, absolutely huge. So very, uh, very happy with it. But it was, yeah, like kind of groundbreaking back in the it day because really it was like, was. what do you mean there's no motor? <laughs> Oh, sorry, engine. Right? Yeah. What do you mean there's no engine? I know. I was sold by the drive quality, honestly, when I first got into one. I'll shut that door before any of the flies get in. Right, well, I think it's uh, time to have a look inside the car to show you what the, the leather, yes, genuine leather, is still like. And look good for baby seats, too. See? Um, so you go, that's... Oop, how'd you go, fly? Um, yeah, this is genuine leather, tan coloured. Still good. I'll um, I'll go into the driver's seat. Oh, it can't still work. It's strong. It's good. Oh no, fly got in. Just get out. Just get out. All right. Oh, that smell. That leather smell. It's nice. Yeah, it's good. It's got um, it's got a uh. What do you call it? A sunroof, actual proper sunroof, but no powered sunshade. So this does open out, which I won't do. It is UV treated, so it's all good. All nice and, uh, nice and cl uh, protected. Um, and down here, cup holders. This is an aftermarket kit. Mm, otherwise, it's just like a big, long yes. space. So having something in here just makes the space a bit more usable. Go for takeaway. <laughs> all right, let me show you the uh, degradation test, which I have for you. Portrait mode. Portrait mode. Yes, portrait mode. Old yes, school. Yes. Or, or, yeah, as also seen in Polestar, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Polestar 3. Okay, so on screen now, you'll see um, a, an independent battery test done by um, a good friend of mine, Nathan Gore Brown, who runs a company called Test EV here in Australia. They do independent battery tests for EVs. Uh, it's backed by Avalu, which is the testing company. Um, it's a huge database that they've got for Tesla and other EVs when they do their testing, so you can trust these numbers. Uh, so the Tesla Model S, which was done last month actually, so mileage at the time was 120,827 kilometers uh, at the end of September, sorry, six weeks ago. So state of health, 88.1%. All right, so that is for a, uh, yeah, so originally 69 kilowatt hour battery, it's now 61 kilowatt hours usable, or thereabouts, I'll go through the figures shortly. Um, and the WLTP range I said earlier was 350, and that's the current WLTP range. So originally it was 402 kilometers. Uh, back when I, well, back when the car was new. And according to the benchmarking, it is uh, still within the average of the bell curve, maybe slightly tiny bit below like the midline average. So still pretty happy. And the comments say that it's still in good health and no abnormalities detected. So yeah, we can, uh, if you trust these figures, which we do, then I, I'd say this battery is still in very good condition. Uh, on page two, you can see the usable is 57 kilowatt hours now compared to 64.8 when uh, this car was brand new. Um, so it's yes certainly lost a bit of range obviously um, so the current range WLTP is 320 to 354 you can typically get about 250 kilometers still uh, from this car so still a very good city car and not bad as a, as a, a long range as well if you charge more often obviously um, and just quickly of interest too, um, the Tesla benchmark on page two says that the state of health according to the BMS which is the battery management system of this vehicle says it's 91% state of health so Tesla says it's 91 Avalu says it's 88 so I would say this car is very close to 90% state of, state of health after 10 years which is about right for a NMC battery it does tend to plateau around 90% so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results actually okay this brings me back love it and I can still um, access my Tesla account here on the uh, profile setting, still there. Tesla Tom, that's right, Tesla Tom is back for this video. All right, so right stalk, for, uh, gear shift, left stalk indicate. All wheel drive, of course. Still a great smooth ride. After 120,000 kilometers. Can you imagine the amount of servicing you'd need for uh, an ICE car that was 120,000 kilometers old? Yeah, for this one, all you need to do is um, change the door handle. Change the door handle, which admittedly out of warranty, but it's an own issue, hopefully. Yeah. And, and because I fixed the other ones, um, none of them actually um, have come back with that issue. So it is an own issue. Once you fix it, it's okay. And believe it or not, this car actually has air suspension. So you can actually um, increase the height of this car if need be. 
for a sloping driveway. Hmm. She still drives well. <laughs> still good. I'm just going to capture your expression so you will see how hmm. satisfied you look. <laughs> Not selling this, sorry, if anyone's asking. It's just not for sale. Yeah. yeah. And that's why we're even filming this old school where I'm just the one holding the camera. <laughs> but I, here, I, I am, I, I'm mic'd this time, so I'm <laughs> chiming in where I used to have to keep my mouth. Like, I, yeah, I used to keep the comments to myself. <laughs> <laughs> now, give us your honest thoughts, come on, about the original Tesla Model S. Uh, it, okay, see, it's always been a bit shaky for me. Like. You know, like I don't, I'm not, I have, I was never a fan of the, of the ride quality. Um, oh, okay. And this is, it's a, it's a newer um, roller coaster, but for anyone who's sat the Leviathan, I think it's called on the Gold Coast. Um, now, okay. Admittedly, it's not that rattly, oh, but. I'm glad you said that. It's not it's, that bad. No, it's not. But um, yeah, it just, it's a. It's, it's, it's an American made car. It is an American made um, car, yes. At a time where I think they weren't used to making cars. As in, obviously, America yeah, makes a generation. lot of cars, but as in, yeah. like, Tesla as a brand was relatively new. Um, so I feel like, yeah, they just didn't have that experience in putting together a car, which was not an issue with the later models. Like, mm. the Model 3 was super solid, um, and my original. Model 3 was a Californian Model 3 um, and that didn't have those sort of like build quality issues. But for a first generation car from 2014, 2015, like come yeah. on, this is pretty no, good. And look, it, it's that word, you know, that, that, um, that word that, <laughs> you know, is overused, but it was a game changer. Totally. Um, it was a like a hundred percent electric. It went ridiculously fast. It had instant torque. I bet. Um, it would turn heads. People would ask, "What is that?" Um, you know, where? But where's the petrol? Like, where do you put the petrol in? <laughs> where's the engine? Um, like we just showed yeah, you in the front. Yeah, where's, where's the? What do you mean? There's no engine. Yeah. So, this was the one that I think. This is uh, yes, there were electric vehicles before, um, but this is the one I think that kind of kick-started the EV revolution. Um, Car of the century, by the way. Like is, is it? It was, yeah. 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 Time but, magazine. Uh, you know, and well, no, I think... Well, not Time magazine. Some, some of the publications yeah, called it Car of the Century. Deservedly so, because it's an iconic car, um, and it really did change the landscape of, of like, motoring. So, mm. um, yeah. Yeah, well yeah. said. Well said. It's, 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 it is very special. Yeah. Yep. I was close to selling it, but I'm so glad we uh, held off on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. It is good. I'm glad it's still in the family. Yes. I'm glad someone else can enjoy it now. Yep. And you were, uh, I think, thanks to this car, you're a Toka Foundation member too. Still am. Yes. yes. Tesla Owners Club of Australia. Yes. Still a member. Yep. That's right. Yep. And they're still doing lots of good things. So, yep. Shout out to them. Indeed. Alrighty. Well, that's it from uh, Joy and myself. Hope you enjoyed that 10 year celebration of this Tesla Model S 70D with. 10% battery degradation, still going good. And uh, maybe, who knows, we might catch up in a few years' time to do another video. <laughs> 15 year, 20 year, whatever it takes. Yep, yep. Whatever it takes. Yep. I, I still use this car as an example when I'm on stage to uh, talk about EVs. Um, it's still like a citation. Something I say, look, it's still good. It's still in its first battery. It's not going anywhere. Look after it. Yep. You'll do well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, when I gripe about the build quality, like it is. Um, very minor can i just say like yeah. please don't think this is gonna like fall apart or anything like that it's it's yeah. just you can you can tell that it's a car that's like a first generation type car i mean all i say is com compared to an ice car bmw mercedes whatever from 10 years ago oh seriously come right? on this is holding up way better way better yeah 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 i haven't had to uh, like change anything major like no mm. gearbox change nothing crazy like that it's mm -hmm. not cost much at all to mm. maintain this car at yep. the time so yeah it's been good all right i'm tom this is joy holding the camera hello <laughs> that's a hand uh and this is ludicrous feet this is the tesla model s until the next video it's happy charging